San Antonio Spurs head coach Greg Popovich was speaking to the media about the recent comments from Donald Trump and also about race here in America. But I want you to hear his comments because he really going to just tell the truth for how it is. Uh, I live in this country. I have a right to say and think what I want. It's got nothing to do with you know, my position. If it helps somebody else think one way or the other about something, great. But the discussion has to take place. Uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, obviously, you know, race is the elephant in the room, and we, and we all understand that. But uh, unless it is talked about constantly, it's not going to get better. People get bored. Oh, is it that again? They pull in a race card again. Why do we have to talk about that? Well, because it, it's uncomfortable. And there has to be an uncomfortable element in the discourse for anything to change. You know, whether it's the LGBT movement or, you know, uh, women's suffrage, uh, race, it doesn't matter. Uh, people have to be made to feel uncomfortable, and especially white people, because we're comfortable. We still have no clue of what being born white means. And if, if, if you read some of the, you know, uh, recent literature, you'll realize it really is no such thing as whiteness. Uh, but we kind of made it up. Uh, that's not... My original thought, but it's true, and <laughs> it, 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 it's hard to sit down and, and decide that yes, it's like you're at the 50, you know, the 50 meter mark in a 100 meter dash, uh, and you got that kind of a lead. Yes, because you were born white, you have advantages that are systemically, uh, culturally, psychologically there. And they have been built up and cemented for hundreds of years. But many people can't look at it. It's, it's too difficult. Uh, it, it can't be something that is on their plate on a daily basis. Uh, people want to hold their position. People want the status quo. People don't want to give that up. And until it's given up, it's not going to be fixed. Before we start with the commentary, I want to reach out to our supporters and viewers to help us hit our 3,000 member goal on Patreon for a minimum of $2 or $5 per month. And I want to thank every person who has joined us there to help us keep the show going. Without you, this couldn't be possible. Now, what Greg Popovich said is just something that we have stated many times. And there are many white people that know what this man is talking about. They know about the society we live in. They know about the racism, who's racist and who's not. They know they benefit from racism. They know that they're not going to live the lives of a black person in this society. But one thing that he said that until they want to give that up, none of this is going to stop that's going on. And unfortunately, they don't want to give that up. I mean, they've been having it too good for too long. But as the time is winding up and as the privilege is lessening every single day, and as the control that they had on black people and many others all over the world is lessening every single day because it's being ordained of God for them to lose that control because their time is almost up of running the world. Um, the best thing for a lot of them to do is try to be equal with all people. You have to understand what Donald Trump has done has transcended all over the sports world. And of course the NBA going to start speaking up about what's going on because they have more black players than the NFL have. So politics is definitely here to stay in sports, whether you like it or not. So if you have a problem with that, like many of you do, why don't you go tweet Donald Trump and say, thank you, Trump for bringing politics into sports. And why don't you go tell him to worry about politics and not worry about sports? Like he don't say nothing about Puerto Rico. He ain't mentioned it. He worried about all weekend about what NFL players are doing but you had Puerto Rico decimated, literally, and he don't care. But it seems about right with Trump because, you know, Trump don't really like Hispanics like that. So he, they really getting to see that. I hope you get to see that because a lot of you ran out there to go vote for him against your own interest. But, you know, you got to deal with siding with white supremacy. That's the only thing I can say about that. But Trump not worried about any of that. He worried about what black players are doing. That's his obsession, black people. The key is you're going to continue to have a contentious and divisive society 
as long as you think that you're going to keep white supremacy going. White supremacy has to go. It's just that simple. I know, you know, Trump wants to hold on to it. I know he wants to go back to the good old days, but sorry. I mean, it's time is up. And I know some people may say, well, I never said a racist thing in my life. I have family that's this color. I date these people X, Y, Z. Don't matter what you do. If you're not changing society, you're still benefiting from it. We all know that you all know that you get an unfair advantage in society. Like the coach said, and until you deal with that, you're going to continue to be uncomfortable. Your way of life is not going to be the same anymore because at least this group of black people that's rising up now, we have to challenge this now because enough's enough. We've done it every kind of way possible to be peaceful. Being uncomfortable is going to be a way of life for you from now on. And the reason why you're going to be uncomfortable is because number one, Trump is definitely drawing lines in the sand with white supremacy. And he's forcing people who never wanted to speak up before to become activists now. And which is a great thing. So until you give up white privilege, you're not going to have peace in America. Just that simple. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Share the video, like the commentary, and subscribe to my news stories.